Hey guys, what is up? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Yuzu Emulator's brand new resolution scaler in order to play many of your very favorite Nintendo Switch titles at resolutions like 1440p, 4K, 5K, or even 8K resolution. While it may seem a little complicated to get this resolution scaling up and running, I promise you it definitely is worth it, and once you get used to it, it's actually very, very simple to use. Let's kick things off and jump across to my desktop where I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this new scaler. Now first things first, you are going to actually need to have Yuzu Emulator installed on your system. If you haven't already got it set up, you can follow my complete setup guide, which you will find down in the description. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Super Mario Odyssey to demonstrate just how this resolution scaling works. As a baseline, I first of all want to launch into this game using the recommended settings and at the native resolution of 1280 by 720 and to get this game to work at all, you're also going to need to use this custom configuration using only the Joy-Cons docked config and also making sure you have the top controller disabled. Once you have all of this done, let's just load our game and I'm going to speed through the footage and my cache loading, get us into game and we're going to see how our game looks. Let's just jump into full screen mode and see what it looks like there. This 720p resolution is fairly noticeable around the edges of the character model and especially around Pikachu's tail. Let's jump into actual gameplay though and see what the difference is like there. Again, once we get into gameplay, you can see it does look very well as it is quite a nice looking Nintendo Switch game, but again, as with on that save loading screen, you can see all of these small little jagged lines around the edges of the character models and the distinct lack of any form of anti-aliasing on pretty much anything in the scene. Now that we have a baseline for what the game looks like at 720p, let's close out of full screen. You can see I'm running at 30 frames per second, and since I'm going to be changing some settings, it's best practice to just close the emulator and reopen it again. Once my game lists load, I'm going to once again type POK to get Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and on newer Canary versions, when you right click, you should see this option for open rescaling a profile. Once you do this, if you have a rescaling profile, you're going to see your highlighted file, this JSON file, is going to be your specific rescaling profile for your specific game. Now obviously, if you don't have a rescaling profile and if you open this area, it's just going to give you an error telling you that you do not have a rescaling profile for that game. If this occurs, what you want to do is hit your Windows key and R, and into this runtime box you want to type app data. Once you have it entered, hit enter or click the OK button and it's going to open this app data folder. Next, you're going to come to roaming, then in roaming you're going to come down to this Yuzu folder. Once here, you want to either enter into or create this rescaling folder if it's not already there, and then when you open this rescaling folder, this is the area into which you're going to be putting the rescaling profiles. Down in the description of this video, or over on either my Discord server or the official Yuzu Discord server, you will be able to find specific rescaling profiles for any of your specific games, so this is the exact same area into which you want to put them. Once your rescaling profile is in that folder, you want to come back to graphics, come to your internal resolution, and then you can change your resolution to 2x, 3x, or 4x. For this video, I'm going to be setting this to 4x, which is basically going to be running a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu at 5k resolution. Next, I'm just going to speed through the footage of loading my cache and getting back into game again. Now that we're on our save selection screen, let's go back to full screen, and it's pretty damn clear that we are running at a much higher resolution in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Let's load into game and see if we have similar results. And yes, we do. The game now looks absolutely smooth and beautiful, running at this high resolution of 5k. Let's go into the Pokemon Center and see what it looks like there, and unlike before, we have no more jaggies along any of our edges or our character models, and the game looks absolutely beautiful. Now, this is the process you're going to be using if there is a rescaling profile available, but for many games there is not going to be one, so you're going to have to create one all by yourself. I'm now going to show you exactly how you can do that. 
Okay, so as before, you're going to be closing your emulator and then you're going to reload it from either your taskbar or your Windows shortcut menu. Again, we're going to have to wait for our games to reload in our games list. And again, I'm going to scroll down or I'm going to search for a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So this time, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to remove this rescaling profile. And as I said, I'm going to show you how you can make one all for yourself. All you need to do is come to emulation, configure this graphics section, and in this internal resolution drop down window, you want to select a profile scanner. This profile scanner needs to be turned on, and then you basically need to run whichever game. Again, for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, make sure to be using only the Joy-Cons docked configuration. Again, I'm going to load through my cache and get us back into gameplay. All that you need to do once in gameplay is just run around for a while, play the game with this resolution scanner active, and it is automatically going to use the AI algorithm to build your resolution scaling profile that is going to allow you to play your games at much higher resolutions. That's literally all you have to do, just turn on a resolution scanner, run around your game for a while, and it is automatically going to do all of the work for you. Now obviously I have sped up this footage so you guys don't have to watch me build my scale profile but just what I have done there has built a sizable chunk of what you need to complete this game. Again as before I'm going to close the emulator and reopen it since I'm going to be changing settings. Again I'm going to wait for my games list to appear properly. I'm going to then search for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu again. Right click select open rescaling profile and there you go you can see Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and the brand new resolution scanner has automatically built my upscaling profile. As before, all you need to do is come to Emulation, Configure, Graphics, then select whatever resolution you wish to scale up to. Now obviously for other games they are going to require a sizably larger rescaling profile. For example, the profile for Super Mario Odyssey is much larger, this one being 72 kilobytes, and it is not even fully complete just yet. For Super Mario Odyssey it also requires some different settings, so let's come to Graphics, I'm going to turn on Asynchronous GPU Emulation, and for complex games like this I would advise using a lower scaler, for example 2x which will basically be making the game run at 4k resolution. You also should be using the Pro Controller in docked mode and as I've done before in this video when you change any major settings for example asynchronous GPU emulation or any of your controller profiles I would advise closing the emulator then reopening it so your settings get properly applied and so that you do not crash when you're loading through your shader cache. Now that I've loaded the emulator again, let's search for Mario, load up Super Mario Odyssey and see what our game is like resolution wise once we actually get into gameplay. Now that we're in our title menu, let's once again swap over into full screen mode and it is fairly apparent that we are running at a much higher resolution than the native 900p or 1080p that this game runs at. Again, let's load straight into gameplay and see what the graphics are like running at 4K. And there we go, we're now loaded into gameplay and look at just how smooth and unbelievable the graphics look running at this higher resolution. Obviously, playing at high resolutions is not going to be for everyone, but man does it make your games look absolutely amazing, and especially for less demanding games like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, you can see absolutely enormous visual boosts by using this brand new resolution scaler. Now at the moment there are obviously some quirks to this brand new feature since, as I said, it is brand new, but even at 4K you can see I'm running at a solid 60 frames per second. Now, if if you do use anyone else's rescaling profile and you do encounter graphical issues in any of your games, literally all that you need to do is come back to emulation, configure, and then turn on your profile scanner once again, then just play around in whichever level you are getting the graphical bugs in. Basically all that would have happened is whoever created the profile, like for example the one I have made so far for Super Mario Odyssey, may be incomplete and is likely going to require some more scanning of a specific area. As I said, all you have to do is return on the profile scanner, run around that area, and this is no doubt going to fix your issues. Now onto some issues that you may experience when using the profile scanner and some things that you should try to avoid. For example, in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, when using the resolution scanner, I would highly advise not scanning any of the touchscreen sections, for example the area where you go to interact with either your Pikachu or your Eevee. In my experience with this scaler so far, 
doing this is only going to corrupt the profile and make it so that you are not going to be able to actually upscale your games. Similarly, if you try to scan certain sections of Cap Kingdom for some reason, it also breaks your resolution scanning profile, so I would highly advise not scanning Cap Kingdom. In the profile that I have linked down in the description of this video for Super Mario Odyssey, I have already scanned the majority of Cap Kingdom minus the areas that were causing scaling issues. As always, if you are having any issues at all with making or using the profiles which I have provided you with, or making a brand new profiles of your own, please just jump over into my Discord or leave a comment down below this video, and as always, I will reply to you as soon as I possibly can. To be honest, in respect to this brand new resolution scaler, that is all of the information that you are going to be requiring for now. Hopefully, any and all of these settings I have also shown you in this video are going to give you the best possible compatibility, visuals and performance in any of your games. Before I go, I want to give another massive thank you to all of my supporters over on Patreon.com. All of the pledges and donations that you guys have given me massively help with the running of this channel, helping to pay for things like electricity bills, internet bills, water bills and all the games I require for testing in videos just like this one. As I always say guys, these pledges or donations are absolutely not a requirement for help from me either here on YouTube or over on my Discord server, but they are massively, massively appreciated. So to all of my past, present and future channel supporters, thank you guys very, very much. If anyone out there would like to help to support my channel, please consider heading to the Patreon link down below and pledging to support. At the same time, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button down below. It really does help with the visibility of not just this video, but also my YouTube channel as a whole. And if you would like to see future videos from me, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I make a brand new upload. Once again guys, thank you very much for watching, have a great day and I will see you all in the next one.